everyone. Catherine and Erica here. We are ready to celebrate with some easy handmade cards today. If you are watching on the replay, we are happy to have you. Uh, we are going to be live, if you are here on the live, <laughs> probably about an hour. I have potentially three cards planned for you today. I'm going to show you how to stamp the images from the Nostalgic Season stamp set. I'm going to show you how to make some simple cards for the holidays and we're going to craft and create and chit chat together for this next hour so pop in here share your thoughts with us let us know um what do we want to ask let's think of something to ask a good inquiring question today is our product release day by yeah. the way today so, this christmas hit the shop here's our question so our holiday collection we have five different bundles one is a note card bundle. So we have a three and a half by five inch envelope die with some coordinating products uh, so that you can make your own envelopes on a patterned paper, make cute little cards for the holidays and tuck them inside. Uh, we have a whole uh, set of products to go with that. Then we have uh, this Christmas essentials bundle. Mm -hmm. So it's some uh, uh, stencils, some cover plates, mm -hmm. uh, background stamp. It's uh, oh, a set of layering dies. Yeah, little it's, ornament dies. And the ornament dies. And yeah. it's stuff that's going to mix and match with the entire rest of the collection. It's also going to mix and match great with any of your other uh, products in your stash. If you want to see the full reveal, that is over on Facebook. And after we're done here, I will update the description below so that I'll have the link there so you can go look at that video and see all of the products. Then we have three main bundles. They are... These bundles, you guys, they're awesome. They each have their own theme because we want to celebrate this Christmas, whether it's an urban holiday. Is that right? Yes. Urban holiday. Mm -hmm. So you're going to the city. You've got sparkling ornaments and a, bit, a car packed with, with presents on top. That is the theme of that one. It's fun and funky. Then we have the nostalgic season bundle, and that mm -hmm. is a throwback. Like you pull down grandma's attic and you go up there and you find retro wrapping papers and ornaments up there. That's the feel of that bundle. And then we have the classy Christmas, mm -hmm. and that's our adorning doves, and it's more upscale, elegant cards. Yes. Yeah. So it's gonna hit everything. Every taste, everyone Every on taste. your Christmas card list. Yeah, so that's that. So tell me in the comments what kind of Christmas you're celebrating this year. Is it gonna be an urban holiday, a classy Christmas, or a nostalgic season? I love I'm it. I'm doing all of them. I love it. Oh, I'll, I, yeah, I mean, come on. Definitely can make a card for a lot of different people, and sometimes there are folks that you think, ooh, they'd probably like something a little bit more classy, or oh, this person's fun. They're gonna love a Rudolph. All three of these uh, bundles will allow you to make specific cards for specific people in different themes. So, are you guys ready to see what's happening right here? Uh, we have a color palette, and it is Samba. We threw a party color in with Spa, you guys. Uh, we have polish, clay mask, hot tub, eucalyptus, spruce, and green tea. These colors are featured in our Grandma's Attic Patterns Paper Pack. These have retro throwback feel patterns to them. This one's my personal favorite. This one might be a personal favorite. I love that This one, one might be a person. No, we're not going to do this because they're all <laughs> favorites. <laughs> we have the Nashville Sequin Mix, which is going to pull in... Uh, colors from that paper pack and if you I know you guys are gonna ask this is the magic tray it's really cool to use with your sequins look at those so beautiful and do we have anyone from Nashville on the live okay set those aside then we have the nostalgic season stamp set each of these images uh, is going to take a couple stamps to create the image. So <clears throat> the tree, and then you have the trunk, and you have the base, and the base has two stamps. Then the deer, and then he has a little nose if you want to make a Rudolph. And then the stocking has three little pieces to stamp inside. Then the bell, and then this. these two pieces go to that ornament, these two pieces go to that ornament. Uh, this goes on top of the tree. You can use this piece with that ornament. There is an entire layering guide, you guys, on our website, and I've added the link below, so you can check that out. 
we have the dies, of course, and then we have the Garland border stamp set. Oh, Dana's representing Nashville. Do we have any questions yet? No, and our uh, YouTube was being slightly delayed, so I'm just getting in there. All right, we did have some issues with YouTube this morning. Yeah, it was having a systemic <coughs> problem. So, two simple cards, I think both of these, well, this one was made by Christy Goulet. This one, maybe Daniel, I'm not sure. Anyway, gorgeous cards from our brand ambassadors. You're gonna use the patterned paper and just pop on a sentiment. So I was inspired by that and that's where I wanted to start my card today. Do this one. We're gonna use the slimline patterned paper, but we're gonna make a regular A2 sized card. So when you get the slimline paper, you are not married to the slimline size. You guys, that pattern is gorgeous. Okay. So I'm gonna cut five and a half, and then I'm just gonna cut maybe like an inch and a half of the strip here. Okay. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do a sentiment. So we have a few, go ahead. Options. A few options. Options. So direct to paper and color my cardstock like this, or this one is black embossed. And I pulled out. You didn't make that? Maybe Alina did. Daniel huh? did. Daniel didn't make it. Copper. Metallic copper. Yes. <clears throat> Are you saying metallic copper? I love metallic copper. <clears throat> so then metallic copper on white or metallic copper on a piece of paper that was direct to paper. So are we letting those the, are my our questions. friends weigh in on this? Yes, that? Yeah. our friends are gonna weigh in. Okay, so. <clears throat> and in the meantime, I'm going oh, to assemble this. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna use some liquid glue. Metallic copper is pretty high on my list of embossing powder favorites, along with rose gold and oyster glints. You are an oyster glints fan. It's gorgeous. Hardcore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fill in background stamp to make that pattern paper would be amazing. Oh, yeah. A line art in that is design? Oh, that, <clears throat> that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, that pattern is unbelievable. All right, so some foam tape to pop this layer up and give it some dimension. Love doing a strip on the edge uh -huh. and then popping this piece up. I think that looks really cool. So bada boom, and then a sentiment strip. So what do we what are we thinking here? I feel like we may just have to make a decision. Oh, are we so delayed? There's a really big delay here um, with Facebook. So I mean YouTube, YouTube. Okay. So, yeah. No. I'm gonna do copper first, do and then we're like. gonna decide, because I'm considering direct to paper over the copper. I was wondering about hot tub. That's what I was thinking. Okay. We're on the same page, sister. Oh, okay, metallic copper on black was oh, a suggestion. Oh, yeah, that would look really nice, whoops. Copper on black, another suggestion. What happened? I just got my powder tool all over the place. Oh. My one concern with doing it on black is because there's so much black on this already. Mm -hmm. I still think it would be a good choice. May not pop quite as much. Yeah. My one's gonna pop a little more personally. <clears throat> so I'm just inking this with the embossing pad. This is a clear tacky ink and the embossing powder will stick to it. And are you cutting that strip down after you're done embossing? Yes. Okay. Did I move my cardstock at all? I don't, I don't know. know, let's see. Do you think you didn't get a good clean impression? Not sure. We will see in a second. <clears throat> oh, this copper is gorgeous. Yeah, I think we're okay. And then I like how that one is open. You can color it in if you want. Will you? 
We could do that instead of doing the whole thing. Let's add like a pop of color in there. Yeah. I don't know. Even though this is the nostalgic, your card is pretty classy so far. I think I did move my paper a little because look yeah, at my your cheer. cheer looks a little weird. And when you do uh, the color in effect, I think it's more like whimsical. So I probably will read you the sentiment. I won't do it now though because we have two more cards we need to make, you guys. You don't need to watch me stamp that sentiment again. So let's just do the direct to paper with hot tub over it and see what we. Oh, I am just... Now you gotta start over. What happened? <laughs> so this sentiment will be redone later. Uh, but let's see what he happens. He didn't heat it, heat it quite far enough. Well, I, I didn't wait for it to dry. So that's a good tip. This was still hot and liquidy, and then I ran my oh. finger over it and it mm -hmm. smudged. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened there. Goodness me. Ah, uh, hopefully I can get my act together and not uh, mess up my next one. Wow, <laughs> scallop circle dies. We did have, let me look. So what do you guys think? The hot tub, and of course I would cut this down. What circle dies? Round scalloped ones? Just like that. Oh, that looks that looks nice. So you could put it here. You could put it down here. You could even add a little embellishment if you want, or you could leave it like this. Maybe you want to do this guy. Maybe you want to move this over here and do the little deer. So you can keep it very clean and simple like so, or add a few things and bring it up a notch. Right there, three cards just with patterned paper. So there's one holiday card made easy. Awesome. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. I could redo that sentiment over here while you carry on. Good. Here is hmm. that and that. And here's my Misty with there. So let's move on to the Christmas tree. We all love this Christmas tree. It is it's so pretty. <clears throat> and do you guys have a favorite image from this set? Do you love the ornaments? Do you love the reindeer? Do you love the bell, the stocking, uh, the tree? Which one's your favorite? <clears throat> so we'll do the outline first. It's hard to choose. I know. So much cuteness. I told Erica that this is going to be a very difficult card for me to make because <laughs> this is holiday cards made easy and I'm going to want to take it up a notch. You're going to make it not easy. <laughs> holiday cards more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I do two at once because let's do that. Let's do that. So spruce outline. Oh, I love this funky tree. It's so cute. Love the Our retro tree. ornament. Jules, you live in Calabash? Oh, we've talked about this. My yes. Friend. I have a friend in Calabash. And you guys, the way this stamp set was created, it was not meant to line up perfectly. <clears throat> so it has that kind of like offset funky feel to it. So it's going to be very forgiving for you when you're stamping. I'm sorry, friends. It looks like somehow there was another link on YouTube that folks thought we were in and they were waiting for us there. So if you were just finding us, glad you found us. Thank Weird. you for letting them know that this is where we were, friends. Um, yes. Was the other one the classy Christmas? Well, they said nostalgic, but it could, I would think that's what it was. We did. are under Classy Christmas. We did go live under the wrong one. So, oh no. Yes. That was our fault. That's really weird because yes. that was scheduled for tomorrow. Uh-huh. I know why. We didn't choose it from the pull-down menu. You guys, That's we've been our using the software for a year and a half, but there is one feature that we have never used, and it's when we have multiple streams set up. So, <laughs> 
I think Erica and I will not make that mistake again. Yeah, I'll make a little note. I'm sorry okay. about that, guys. That so is, sorry. That's totally our fault. Yes. Oh, gosh. And we're happily just going along. Even I know. That may have um, been a part of the problem with the delay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you guys found us over here on the wrong live stream. So I wonder if we can go yeah. in. Yeah. Um, yeah, because this is the one we're supposed to be in. Right. Mm -hmm. Click there and then go into the back end. And yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um. Okay. What's next? Let's do tree trunks. And maybe I'll do the star. Well, I barely have enough room here, you guys, to just do the star on one of the trees. I didn't stamp it down quite far enough. So when you're stamping the tree, keep that in mind. Uh, maybe don't stamp the tree as close to the top as I did. Now, a coordinating color for this stamp set would be Daydream and Skylight. I'm just deleting this. That's fine. Um, not stamp set, but this color combo, Skylight and Daydream, because this is multi-step stamping, you may want a monochromatic. Like, say you're doing the stocking and you want this all blue you could use these three colors together so keep these on hand too and I think that's what's gonna happen right here so daydream I just stamped that sideways this stamp go here it is you got it so cute I stamped this guy sideways did you see that <laughs> oh no we're gonna pretend we're off our game guys what in the yeah. world <laughs> pretend that stamped correctly it'll all come back together momentarily then let's do clay mask and polished. So use the darker color for the outline and then the lighter color for the inside. And then what if I just did clay mask and samba? That would be Oh, that's cute. I think I like the Samba with the clay mask a little better because it pops more, but it just depends on what kind of look you're going for. If you, This is a little bit closer to a tone-on-tone -tone look, uh, and that uh, is a look that's going to pop more. Well, that looks so cute. Look at these, Erica. Adorable. They're so cute. It's a trio of trees. And then I want to grab Sana for the star. Adorable. Do I need stars on all of them or just the one? Would you could do it just in the middle. Is that what you did? I did. But, you know, either way, Christmas is here. This is a brand new stamp, so I'm going to get a piece of scratch paper to practice on and make sure everything looks good before I stamp it for real. I always do that. <clears throat> you guys see I smudged here? Leave it to me. Always, always. <laughs> oh, that looks cute. I'm just going to go ahead and use the same sentiment for this card. I love that scent. This sentiment was very satisfying to stamp. <laughs> that font is a lot of fun. It is so fun. I haven't used it yet, so I'm very excited to have used it. Okay, so two simple cards, and then you can just pop these up on a white card base. And there you go. So cute. So there's the tree. I'm not going to do these now because you guys have seen me put 
um, glue things together. Glue things together. Let's move on to this guy. So, are you done with the misty? The magic powers in the air will have these glues. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm going to trim this. You got a little something black on the edge. Of course. Of course I did. So, you guys know we have lots of wonderful design team creations, and I am going to share a bunch of them at the end at the end after I get done stamping, so stay tuned. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so here is our Garland border stamp set. Look at how beautiful that swag is. So if you wanna you know, color these in, or maybe you wanna just emboss this, I think this is gorgeous. I stamped that in Midnight Ink. We're gonna set it aside, and then I wanna stamp this other Garland. This is like a string of beads a string of lights, a string of cranberries, just depending on if you stamp it in different colors or you stamp it in red or maybe you heat emboss it, it's gonna give you different looks. Also, this is so cute because it's not like, it's a little off-centered, so it's kind of fun to position it in different places. Because, you know, when you hang a garland, it isn't perfect, is it? I feel like it's cranberries. I want to do cranberries. I think they're cranberries, or like those little red beads that are like fake cranberries that <laughs> you put up. Yeah. I, have, I have those in my stash. Fake cranberries? Fake cranberries. I'm gonna do one rouge and then maybe another one in rouge or maybe I'll do another one in samba. I could have done them both in samba. Uh-oh, what maybe happened I to your glue needle? Them. It's around here somewhere. Okay. Right here. Okay. <laughs> Aren't these fun? I love these. So cute. So cute. Oh, you used rouge? I did. Wonderful. I'm going outside the color combo just a bit. Don't be afraid to do that. No, so we create um, color combos with our pattern paper, and it's a fun jump off point if you want it, but you can clearly do your holiday cards in absolutely any color scheme you want, and since we have nearly 80 ink colors, you have a lot of options. We have nearly 80? Yeah, and you that. can go spot with these muted colors for like a classier, more nostalgic, kind of retro feel, vintagey. Or you can go full on party and have a really bright, fun, whimsical, cheerful card. So, you guys. Choice is yours. Yes, and even using the same stamp in a spa color scheme versus a party color scheme, you get a different feel. So, that's really fun. Like, if you did this bell, you should. Should do the bell? Yeah, do like a. <gasps> Look what oh, I did. Oh, no, Catherine. She's very upset. And I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what I do, you guys. What is happening? I know, Daniel, I was wondering how you could turn that into popcorn. You could like emboss totally. it with like a creamy off-white color. Oh, yeah. So, you guys, this is what I would do. Now, I could just not push down as hard. I could be a little bit more careful when I stamp. Or maybe you just want to trim away a little bit of this excess. If you have issues like me, you can do that. That is not gonna harm your stamps. Stamp surgery, you guys, Stamp you surgery. saw it here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Pumpkin lights, all oh, little pumpkins, Cheryl. That would be cute. Okay. So we will not be using this piece. We are going to use this piece. And I'm a little worried about my hands, so let me grab a paper towel. And Give yourself a little I'll spray. I'm gonna get a little bath right now. Okay. <laughs> Do we have hand seating sometimes? No, of course not. Well, as long as it's not going to rub, I don't mind the staining. Yeah. As long as it doesn't rub off. Okay. I was going to do a little stocking. What colors? Cute. I kind of feel like doing some blues. Okay. Is that okay? Of course. Can I do blue? <clears throat> yeah. Mixing in like a pop of red or like polished is fun too. Oh. So pretty. So I'll do the outline first. 
With my stockings, I was like, ooh, do I want the tops to be dark or the toes to be dark? And I did it both ways, and it was cute both ways. So I'm like, there is no right answer. No. We should make a little rainbow stocking, like red, orange, yellow. <laughs> oh, that's a cute idea. <laughs> and so you guys, remember it's made to not be perfect and not, you know, perfectly lined up. You know, we have little spots where, you know, the line art doesn't, because it's this, fun, funky, whimsical, nostalgic feel. So again, I want you to just dismiss the idea of perfection here and just have fun with the style. So let's see, I'm gonna go with the toe in hot tub. So cute. I'm actually gonna double stamp that. And then let's do Put a dream. popped up sentiment over your red smudge. That is a great solution, Debbie. You know what? I grabbed the top of the belt, uh -huh. not the stripes of the stocking. Oh, no. So we'll just fix that real quick. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, so cute. I could leave it like that. Yeah, with a little white middle it's it's uh -huh. cute I'm thinking about that I'm thinking about leaving it it makes me think of those um, felted uh, stockings that are like kind of off-white and then they uh -huh. have a little pop of like embroidered color cute and then if you want to color this in just grab your blender pen a little bit of ink color in some berries you can also do this in Copics of course or colored pencils or and the cool thing is you could add a pop of color. You don't necessarily have to color in the whole thing and it'll still have a really nice effect. Oh, what if I just did the berries? You could do. Leave the flowers and the holly leaves. I think I might leave the flowers white. Could also do them in glitter. What if I glittered the flowers? Oh. Look at you adding a little bit of a low light. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> oh golly oh golly yeah oh so cute all right then I want to change color so I'm just going to scribble this off on scratch paper till my tip runs clear then I can go into another color how are our friends what are people saying doing great tell me some things you know they're who's here they, who's... they're happy that you sometimes make mistakes just like anybody else in the world and you just carry on so I'm with you guys like no need to stress this is our hobby we're supposed to be having a good time so just carry on who's tuning in we've got friends from all over the place Jennifer just joined us from Dallas nice and we have do, 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 do. Scanning through, looking for it's been a while since we announced where we were tuning in from. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Welcome, guys. April, Christine, Diane, Lisa, Belinda, Cheryl, Wendy Jean. We're a busy, busy group. Yes, this border reminds you of a 70s childhood Christmas when Holly Hobby and Little House on the Prairie were things. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yes. I could add a little... I think Little House on the Prairie is still a thing, April. <laughs> I wonder, actually, how much my kids know about that. And I wonder if they know Holly Hobby. Oh, that's funny. I don't know. That's cute. Did you guys, I love this border. It is so cute. I don't know that it needs the glitter on the flowers. I think they're kind of fun. It probably doesn't need it. But you're gonna add it? I think so. <laughs> I think I'm gonna add it. The glitter is on its way. I'm just adding in a little eucalyptus here in uh -huh. the center. I'm not being careful at all. I'm just throwing color in there and I think it fits with the style of this. Uh -huh. Just a little boom, 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 ba boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah, if you are just joining in or you missed the beginning and you missed the first couple of cards, you can go back and watch the replay once we're done. Let's do a little halo. 
that is embossing glitter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my two-way glue pen and I'm just gonna dab in the center of these flowers. Debbie, where's Buddy Holly from? I feel like he, that's a New Jersey person. <laughs> Your first camera was a Holly Hobby camera? Adorable. And then I've got the little black dots there and I just gave those a little dab of the glue. Uh huh. So then my glitter will stick to those pieces too. Belinda, you were in the LaGuardia Airport. Where are you going? Oh. Marcy had a Holly Hobby lunch pail. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Halo glitter on these flowers or would you have left it blank? I wanna know. Who's Camp CP and who's Camp Erica? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we all love Halo. I think I got some on the leaves too, which is A-OK -okay with me. Yeah. I think it looks really pretty. Add some sparkle to your car. Buddy Holly was from Texas. Well, you learn something new every day. And then of course I have a red smudge there. I love I'm that you guys are it. walking down memory lane here. Oh, that is really cute, pretty. cute. And then my sentiment, what color? I feel like now you should have put glitter on the stocking too. Oh, I could do glitter on the stocking. I'm thinking I, I might just go black with the sentiment. Mm-hmm. Just for a nice bit of contrast. Mm-hmm. And which one did you choose? Christmas, Christmas is here. Christmas is here. Love it. So far I'm using that on all of them. Oh, we gotta vote for glitter. Brand, oh, your team glitter. Team, team glitter. glitter. Love a little bling, Bunny says. I am praying for the best right here. <laughs> I think it'll be okay. Okay, black should cover it up. Yeah, very good. I feel like um, we just have such crafter math. <laughs> The crafter mouth is getting out of the control here, y'all. <laughs> and you guys, we are going to be live here on YouTube for the next two days at noon. So tomorrow we'll be doing Classy Christmas, which is right now the title of this video. It will change. No, I changed it. Oh, but we it changed also it right? still Wonderful. needs to be edited because it didn't okay. save what I put in there. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow will be Classy Christmas. Yes. And uh, Friday will be Urban Holiday. Yes. Hopefully you'll join us for those. We've got a lot of glitter fans, Catherine. They're all they're all up for the glitter. Oh, right. Yes. It's wonderful. So then we've so got our little cute. stocking just the one little hanging stocking. from the swag. It's adorable. Thanks. And then just add this to a card front. And just like that, I made four cards today. I, I could keep going. Maybe, is there anything else you guys want to see me stamp? Let me glue that one together. Okay. These ones are all ready to go. So here we got this. And we've got these two. And I have a lot of design team samples to show you. I thought maybe I would show you the deer real quick in case you missed it. Oh, the steps? Yeah, it's so cute. So let's do oh, the deer real quick. Of course I do. You did. Of course. Where's the mono eraser? Let me see what I can do about that. Okay. So, sandcastle, icing on the cake. Let's get clay mask and samba and sauna. Those are the colors I'm going to use. Clearing off some space here. So Belinda, we don't have new colors in this particular release, but the newest colors that we have put in the shop were the Beach Retreat, and that's eight, eight colors, Beach Retreat. Um, oh, that deer. So cute. So precious. I love him. Debbie said she'd love to see the bell stamped out. Mm, I can do that. Hello, Susie from Illinois. Look how, cute. Look how cute. So you can just have a little deer. 
maybe you want to turn this into a Rudolph. So let's go clay mask. And of course, there's different color combinations that you can do this with. Mm -hmm. You use do -si do in Samba. I did use right? do -si do mm -hmm. so I did too. For the little glow yeah. part and then a red nose. There, and then this guy. So I'm using these stamps right here. And then we'll do song. So when you guys get this stamp set in your hands, you can just pull this video back up and remind yourself how to stamp all these awesome little pieces. Or download the little stamping guide. Yes, you can do that too. And then of course at the end, I'm gonna show you a bunch more samples so that you'll have other inspiration. You gonna do a bell? And then let's do the bell. Hello, Wendy from England or the United Kingdom. We'll do it in icing on the cake. And then do the top. Let's do hot tub on the top. Farley, is this your favorite bundle? And let's do skylight on the bottom. Pretty. Actually, if I did that again, so this will this might help you. Since there's detail down here, mm -hmm. I probably would reverse what I just did. Okay. So let's see how that looks. So oh, I would line up the bottom part first. Hot tub on the bottom uh -huh. so that I could see that detail better with a light color. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. And then do the dark on the top. Like that. And then it has one more little piece. It's this guy. cute adorable this set is so much fun I was uh, yesterday we were stamping in here and Hannah who's our graphic designer had a friend come in the office yesterday and she has not stamped before and she didn't really know anything about it so she was hanging out with us when we were on stamp nation live and um, she had a ball and I think the most surprising thing to her was when I did direct to paper. paper right here yeah and um, it was really fun showing her stamping and I was telling her sometimes I feel like I'm playing with paper dolls and that's what when you have a stamp set like this that has different pieces to put together it just feels really satisfying and it's that art therapy thing you know it's just you sit down and you die cut and you stamp and you coordinate and it just it, it always makes me feel better but these are the uh, projects. What? Apparently that's called a clapper. The dingle dangle. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and Keely's late because she was at the Red Lobster. <laughs> Keely, did you bring us some she's Cheddar Bay Biscuits? She's at the Red Lobster right she now. She was. She's, oh. she's done now. Did you bring us some Cheddar Bay Biscuits? That's all. <laughs> so these are the cards we made with Stamp Nation yesterday. I have the candy cane background on there with the halo embossing glitter. It looks so pretty. So let's go look at some samples. Wendy, we do sell in the UK. Um, our a good wholesaler to check out is the. Oh, very we have funny. little paper tree. Little we paper have tree. dyes to die for. Uh -huh. uh, sugar and spice. I think we have a couple more too. I'm yeah. sorry, I don't know them all off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, some here's a bell. Oh, I like this with the hot tub and the green tea. That looks really good. We have stockings. We have a bunch of stocking cards, you guys. So let's check these out. Give you tons of inspiration here. I can put this link up. That has the list of our wholesalers. All of our retail partners. Okay, so stockings. Yes. Cute. Then the deer and the tree. Oh yeah, Ellen Hudson does have our line, you guys, um, but they're on Pacific time, so they may just be a little behind. Getting it up? Yeah. Oh. Somebody was saying they didn't uh -huh. see the stuff, but she does. She does. She absolutely does. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah. Look at that marquee. I love this 
ink blending on the marquee die there. And look, look who what that? who did this? <laughs> who made that? <laughs> Which of our brand ambassadors did this? Yeah, to claim so your she card. Ink blended, doing ombre all the way down, getting dark to light, and then she die cut. And then she this, or he, because it could have been Daniel. <laughs> yeah, this is incredible to me right here. I think this looks like double stacked, maybe, so that these pieces have dimension. And I think that looks absolutely it's beautiful. incredible. So that's the marquee slimline die, and that's brand new in the shop. So cute. Okay, and then we have we shove the bell. Here's another one with the garland. And Deck the Halls, that's a sentiment we came out with last year. And Erica, I think you did this one, right? I did. This is our note card size, so it's three and a half by five with the tree. Christmas is here, and then some ornaments. So tons of inspiration for you guys with these products. And always, if you are looking for more inspiration, you can head to our Instagram account, our Facebook account. We also have on the product pages in our shop. So if you go to shop.catherinepuller.com, go to the Nostalgic Season stamp set page, you're going to see samples in the shop using the products. So that's always a really great resource for you guys. We put um, a lot of time into making that shop also a creative resource for you. That was fun. It was fun. You made a lot of cards. I did? You got a whole stack. I have a whole stack. Thanks so much for being here. And hopefully, we're going to, uh, I'm going to schedule the next two days live so that you guys can see them. And hopefully, we'll go live in the yeah. right place. We'll, we'll make sure that we do. So, we do apologize for that, you yeah. guys. Thanks for being such troopers and joining in today and letting your friends know that we were in the wrong mm -hmm. place. We do appreciate it. Thanks for the thumbs ups on this video uh -huh. and the shares. That helps Catherine's YouTube channel. Yeah. You guys, this Christmas is going to be awesome. Yeah. So, thanks for being here. Holiday cards made easy.